Hey, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Let's Play Mario and Luigi Dream Team for the Nintendo GameCube. In the previous episode, we stopped the flame barriers that were blocking the way between us and the final door of this castle. Today, my friends, we are going to be making our way to the final battle of this game. Not really. There's actually three main battles of this game that uh, lead up to the ending of this entire game. Uh, two of which being Bowser and, the and one of which being Antasma. And hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I know somebody's gonna say that this is not for the GameCube and it's for the 3DS. I know I was just kidding when I said the GameCube because I always say 3DS as if you guys didn't know it was for the 3DS. It's just a force of habit. I always say, welcome back to Mario Luigi G for the 3DS. Anyway, I'm very excited because I actually beat the game on my own time uh, last night and then and I have to say it was, It's a very beautiful game. The ending was Spectacular the final three boss battles were just stupendous uh, And and honestly, I'm very 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 excited to be finishing off this game for you guys So you guys are guaranteed the finale of this game this Friday and on Saturday I'm gonna be starting a new let's play It's gonna be my main project that I'm gonna be doing on my channel. That's gonna be going up on Saturday Saturday, so that's just kind of a little uh, just rundown on what's gonna happen with the channel I'm gonna start a new let's play on Saturday, and uh, the finale will be up on Friday anyways enough Chit chatting we wasted enough time talking already I'm gonna try to my best to skip through all of the enemies in this uh, upcoming area There's gonna be a lot of enemies guys like a crap load believe me when I say this there's going to be a lot of enemies um, and it's something that I'm going to try my best to skip over because, you know, I'm not really looking forward to battling these enemies. Now, the thing is, on my main file, I'm only level 40, and I don't think you could go up past level 40, but I'm level 40 on my main file with the final ranking, and, uh, I would manage to beat the bosses of this game really easy. Like, I'll tell you this, we have two dream battles, and we have a, uh, a, a giant battle with Mario and Luigi. Or with Luigi, sh I should say. But that's gonna be up tomorrow. The first giant battle, the first battle of the ending of this game will be uploaded tomorrow. Man, I'm just so excited for this. I, I can't, I can't wait. Anyways, there, it's Bowser. Oh my God, look at that beautiful, handsome beast. Unbelievable, he's sleeping. Well, sweet, let's KO him while he's KO'd. That sounds like a great, ooh, there looks like a barrier is blocking the way. No, do not approach him. Look, beneath his head. Uh oh, it's Antasma, that foul pillow. Is that Antasma? Yup. Yes, and. Oh, that that was probably Starlo saying that, not not him, because he just responded to himself, I guess. I guess he kind of responded to himself if that were him speaking, which then would make him look like a crazy person. Alright, whatever. He's like he's like he's like the absorbing the power of Bowser's dream as he sleeps. Oh no, he's converting Bowser's dream into energy! Yes, and the castle pulses with life due to that energy. The vines, these vine-like things are this, are distributing it throughout. So those are what those are for. Those vines are distributing the energy harness from Bowser's dreams throughout the entire castle. Yeah, now that you mention it, those things are everywhere. No wonder. So the vines are powering the castle. That's exactly it. The vines are powering the castle. Yes, these vines originate with Antasma. If Bowser wakes up, the energy flow will soon cease, but... But what? Let's detach Bowser from Antasma right now. Focus, as you saw when Luigi tried earlier, that barrier will spawn any directed assault. Hmm, Luigi came up with an idea. What's that? You're saying you'll go into Bowser's dream world? What'll you do once you get in there? Hmm. Oh, you hadn't thought that far ahead, huh? Ooh, Dreamer has a, an idea. Of course! We could attempt the same thing we did to awaken Big Mossif. I shall attach myself to those vines. It will merge Luigi's dream with Bowser's. And with luck, we can awaken or Bowser or we can wake Bowser from the dream world. Ah, right, I get it. That might work. Very well. These connect directly to Antasma if I bind myself to this. Alright, here we go. This is a crazy plan originated by Luigi himself. 
So what we're gonna be doing is we're heading inside of the dream world because we're merging both of the dreams together Both Bowser's and Luigi's dream so that way Luigi can make his way into Bowser's dream and wake up Bowser from the inside If that makes any sense, which then will lead to the big boss battle that we're gonna have with Bowser in the next episode That I'm very excited for because man. Oh man that battle is whew, It's the best battle ever. I don't know what that was, but there's a door here. What's this door man? What is this door here? Let's take a look. Map. Oh, it's a little house. You see this? You see this awesomeness right here? That's a freaking house. And when you look at the, uh, there's a war pipe that leads down. So as soon as you exit from the next battle or the, the, the battle of this dream world, uh, you can go in there and you could buy some items. You could actually do that now if you really wanted to. Um, you know, I, I might not do that. Actually, I'm going to wait it out. I'm going to wait it out because I want to make sure I have every single enemy in this area defeated before I do that. All right, so um, what I'm actually going to do is I'm probably just going to go through and kill all the enemies. That way I could just level up as well, because why the heck not? Even here in my dreams, typical, you are the worst. Well, fine. You want to know what's in, the in this head, pal? Fear. Oh, man. Grow. Run. Now go crush them both. Now we just got to run from this. <laughs> I am Bowser. The smelly old old turtle. All right, so we just got to run from these things right here. They're not bad at all. Um, this place is very, very easy to navigate through. It's just the fact that uh, throughout this entire area, we're going to be encountering a lot of enemies. And believe me when I say this, a lot of enemies are in this area. Maybe a good, like, 10. Or maybe even more than that. Maybe, like, 20. Like, there's uh, honestly a bunch of enemies in this area that I'm not looking forward to battling because... They absolutely have no purpose for me to battle them because when it comes down to actually doing um, like giant boss battles, it's not like your levels make a difference because like there isn't any stat based in that. Like there, there aren't any stats required for you to be, be like to be a boss, if that makes any sense, because Luigi is the only one battling technically and that has nothing to do with uh, with his levels or anything so uh, there's these guys I just I just I just want to skip over them Whee! Whee! and we had to hit one like gosh so there's maybe about like 20 or 30 different enemies here I'm just gonna just gonna run from these guys if I can if I get that opportunity unless they attack me first which it looks like uh, is what's happening here they're attacking me and uh, I'm just gonna, you know, just, just, just chill here and- Wow! How am I supposed to dodge that if I can't even see that? Like, are you kidding me, man? Alright, let's, let's flee this battle, cause... YOLO! Fleeing the battle! Alright. No! Again?! Man, we haven't even scratched the surface of this area, and I can already tell that this is gonna be extremely tedious for me. Yay, the first part, and we only ran into five different enemies. Wow. Oh, all right. So the reason why I'm choosing not to battle these guys is because I have a plan, guys. I have a very good plan that will have, that will make me level whatever I'm supposed to be by the next episode. Well, not really the next episode, but like I said, it's because it doesn't really matter that I need to... It, like, levels don't really matter for the big giant boss battles, so there's absolutely no point for me to sit here working my butt off trying to uh, defeat all of these enemies right now. Because it's just a big waste of time, so I'm just going to work and do that off screen whenever I need to do it. And even then, I honestly don't think you need to be level 40 in order to beat the game, because... I did it, and it was really easy for me to do, so. All right, all right, little Antasman. The one thing that I still don't understand is how in the heck are these guys still faster than me? Like, everybody in this game is pretty much faster. Like, look at that. They're going to attack me first as well. It's stupid. Now, the issue is every battle honestly takes me about, like, a good two to three minutes, depending on, like, who exactly I'm battling against. And for these guys, honestly, it would take me about a good, like, uh, four, bet between three to four minutes per battle, which kind of sucks. Because it is, it is a big waste of time if I'm, like, battling every single one, taking that long in between battles, you know? It's not worth it at all. 
So we just climbed our way all the way here, which is good because I think that was the end of the enemy streak right there. So, I mean, it wasn't that bad. I kind of over-exaggerated it, I guess, at the beginning. I made it seem like as if there were a ton of enemies, but no, it's not that bad. But we're definitely done with them already, so we don't have to worry about that anymore. Now, at this part, you just got to make sure that you're not hitting the fire because as soon as you hit the fire, you just come out of that Luigianary attack that you're in and you have to go back and redo everything which would suck it's not that it takes time or anything it's just like why go through that hassle and now let's exit in this room i think this room is the room where you need the tornado or yeah the, this the typhoon what what is this called what kind of luigianary is this okay hold on let me go back it's this one we need this one i think in this room all right here we go so there's Bowser heads blocking the way, so you just gotta whirl them out of the way quickly and then just find your destination, because they'll be gone for a second, and then they'll come back, unfortunately, so... Let's do it again. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we made it! And let me grab that. Now, there's also these that I can break just by doing that. Oh no! Oh, thank you! <laughs> oh! All right. Uh-oh. All right, all right, let's go back. All right, there we go. That was scary. I was, I didn't know what I was doing for a second, but then uh, it all made sense to me. All right. This is actually a lot shorter than I thought it was going to be. Like, I feel like we're pretty much nearing the end, and I skipped over all the, the enemy battles, which, which make it seem like I, I really didn't put in that much work. Alright, um, what exactly is there? Oh, I remember this part. This part's kind of tedious part, but that's okay, because we're gonna, we're gonna speed through this one. Alright, we're gonna let go right here. And now what you want to do is you want to attach yourself to the next thing. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. No. Oh, really? I have to start from the bottom part again? Are you kidding me? Alright, I guess that makes sense. All right, here we go. I'll do it again. All right, sorry about that. Apparently, something was playing in the background, so I don't know if you guys heard that, but I had to turn it off. Um, all right, let's do this again. All right, there we go. We got to make sure we attach ourselves properly. Um, okay, so we need to scoot up a little bit more to get... No! Come on! I never had an issue with this part, but, like, now the moment I'm recording this, it's like everything's just gonna... Are you kidding me, man? Okay, we could just do that instead of having to do that way again, and then just latch on to that side, let go. Do the same thing there, let go. And then I think, I think what we could do is we could actually just jump. So let me switch out my command. There we go. Oh yeah, that's exactly it right there. That's exactly what I needed to do. Alright, and... Let's just get out of this stupid Luigianary formation. It's like so many buttons just to cancel a command here. It's a little ridiculous. All right, in this room. Oh man, guys, this is it. Oh my gosh, this is it, my friends. We are almost done with this area. As you can see, this will take us back to this room, which we can actually use to exit the dream world if we wanted to. Uh, and then we can go back in this which allows us to buy some items if we really needed. But uh, like I said, you don't need any items for this upcoming battle because you don't need any items or you, you don't even need to be a certain level to, to win this battle because um, dreamy giant battles are much different than just regular battles that we have to encounter in this game. So in the next episode, it's going to be a very exciting episode because we are going to be taking on... Uh, giant Bowser, which is going to be awesome, and I cannot wait to start on that episode. So thank you guys so much for watching. Remember, leave a like on this video if you enjoyed this episode, and I will see you guys tomorrow for the next episode of Mario and Luigi Dream Team. Goodbye.